You guys can see I've got the chassis back in the cabinet here on the Philco PT25. I'm missing a couple matching knobs. These are the uh, Acorn bullet style knobs. I happen to have uh, two ivory. Let's see if we can uh, mold and cast a couple new knobs that are a better match to the uh, cabinet. We'll use uh, this one as our donor. Let's get started. You can see from my casting, I'm going to use a 30 drum pill bottle with a removable cap. I've taken time here to drill a hole off to one side for pouring the silicone that we'll use. And then I took some sandpaper, roughed up the lid. The knob itself will be placed on some double-sided tape here. We'll fasten this, pour in the uh, silicone off to the edge, just above the uh, top level here of the knob itself, maybe about halfway up. We'll let that set up for about uh, 75 minutes to 90 minutes, and uh, we'll come back and uh, take a look at the mold. You guys have seen me use this before. I'm gonna be using some Dragon Skin 10 NV, part A and B. This has some age on it, so uh, we'll see how well it holds up. I'm actually going to uh, heat both containers up in some warm water. Stir them up as it states. Do the mix 50-50. Then we'll uh, pour it over the top of the uh, knob and we'll see what happens here about 90 minutes later. Okay, equal parts of uh, A and B here now. Let's go ahead and mix uh, B into uh, A and stir it for about three minutes. Okay, we're approaching the end of our three minutes here. Alright, there we have it. Probably some air bubbles in there. Again, the uh, product has got some age on it, so the knobs may come out a little rustic, but uh, that's fine. Radio's got a few uh, bumps and bruises as well. Let me uh, set this aside. We'll let it uh, set up as required. Over 90 minutes has passed. Let's uh, demold this. The silicone's still just a little tacky. I'm going to give this another uh, 30 minutes or so to cure. Two factors. Again, my uh, temperature in the shop is a little less than what's recommended in the addition. I had already said the product's got some age on it, so it might be a combination of the two. Let me uh, let this continue to cure, and then we'll come back and see if we can remove the uh, knob itself. All right, let's try this again. Some additional time here. A closer look at the silicone mold, you'll see just a little bit of flashing here on the uh, sides, but I'm going to let that be for now. We'll mix up part A and part B of the resin, and uh, let's go ahead and pour it in here and let that cure. We'll come back and uh, look at our first reproduction knob. Not necessary since we're using a silicone mold, but to increase the uh, life of the mold and any resistance for getting the uh, casted part out. You can see I'm going to use a uh, release agent here. You can see the directions for this particular one, shaking the can well, making sure my ambient temperature is correct, and then we'll just do a misty uh, coating. Use a, a brush there to go over the uh, area inside the uh, silicone mold. Make sure it's well covered and we'll let this dry. Uh, this says for five minutes, most applications say about 30. With the temperature so low here in the shop, you can see I'm preheating the Smoothcast 300 Part A and B in some warm tap water for about uh, 15 minutes. I'm going to take these out, dry them off, give them a good shake, pour equal amounts of A and B. 
we'll pour that into the mold do some demolding and uh, see what our results look like and give this a good stir here for about one minute the uh, pot time on this particular product is only about three minutes and again I had already mentioned the pot time on it I can already feel the uh, product starting to uh, heat up and very good results so here's a closer look at the reproduction knobs I think they turned out uh, pretty well plans are to uh, do the drilling for the control stems after these cure I'll throw them in the oven for a few hours and help expedite that process and then I'm gonna probably end up painting the uh, knobs more of that brownish uh, black to make sure it uh, is a closer match there to the uh, Philco PT25 uh, Bakelite finish. Appreciate you guys watching. Take care and stay well.